Frank Sutton, bass guitarist and vocalist with the Christian country music group, DMB, looks back on his earlier years on the road, the financial difficulties, and the time to call it quits. He too faced many financial challenges during those years, but God was faithful. 25 years later, the band reunited and with a new name, Jackson Heights. And they haven't slowed down yet. This is his story of unshakable faith. This is today's Nashville. We were $107,000 in debt, and that did not include the house and the cars. That was just flat out debt. From to the, hospitals and? From hospital, medical, this and that, trying to live, charge this. Did it cause a lot of stress? Woo! <laughs> That's an understatement. But it was just because of some circumstance and some stupid decisions that we made. Um, I went and met with a bankruptcy attorney. He said, you got one choice, file chapter seven. It's all white clean. Then went and met with my godfather, who was like my spiritual mentor. Um, I called him Coach. Bill Horton was his name. Um, he said, well, you can do it man's way or you can do it God's way. Man, man's way is filing the bankruptcy. God's way is let me walk you through it and I'll show you. And that's what we chose. Six, what did God teach you in those six years? Every day, and, and Coach told me this, every day you wake up and say, God, I trust you and whatever you give me today, I'm going to do. And that's what I did. And every day I walked through it, and I was doing real estate and working at the airport at the same time, part-time airport, full-time real estate. And he, along with God, just led me and directed me to where God laid some things out and said, okay, here's a subdivision. Here's a land deal. Here's some other deals. And to where in six years I was able to close deals, pay off all the debt, restore our credit, and put us back on solid ground.